Okay, so time for my Australian vlog uh, part two. So basically, like, uh, the last one was done on Thursday, so I've decided just to keep them on Fridays now. Um, my last one, if you've not seen it, it's <laughs> quite a crazy video uh, about my uh, my fucked up old right, stalker. Okay. I had a, a crazy ass stalker for when I first got here. Uh, so it's interesting to see, and it's unbelievable, and stuff's still going on even now. But this one is about trying to get work here, right? I'm in Australia now. I come from the UK, and I thought, yeah, I'm so, uh, yeah, I've been in the army ten years. I had no idea how getting jobs here would be or pan out, or even if they'd just be awkward or, or time taking. But it turns out they are, right? So, what I first did, I, I'll show you. Let's go on Google Maps. Let's go Google Maps. Uh, Maps, Google Maps. So what I first did when I when I got here, uh, Maylands. It's actually gyms at Maylands. All right. Will it take me to? Yeah. So what I did when I first got here, I thought right, got myself a place to live. I'm gonna take my resume and go see all the gyms and see if they got anything going. All right, because I thought. Yeah, I can do it on the internet with Seek and whatever. But I thought, yeah, I'd just I'd rather go face to face and ask, is there any slots open? Yeah, because I have to do my instructor slot or a PT slot. Uh, I, I'm getting bombarded. Uh, and that one I can close as well. Right, so I, I just thought I'm going to wander around, take my resume, say hi, talk to each gym manager, blah, blah, blah. Uh, my problems what I was getting is because I'm on a work visa. I'm only allowed to work with one employee for six months, so a couple of them were saying, yeah, we can only do year-long contracts and stuff like that. But I eventually hit, uh, there's more gyms than this, but I was walking everywhere, I didn't, I didn't have my bike at this time. So these are actually further than you think, uh, and there's some that aren't showing on this, uh, but there's a lot, there, there's a good few more around. Now I went to, low, I went to about 10, 10 to 12 gyms. But what I eventually found out was, I need a thing called Australian Fitness. Basically, it's a, some sort of card, sort of license to say that you're qualified to um, train in Australia. So, with my uh, diploma, my level three diploma, it's I do Premier Train International. So I'm able, yeah, you know, I'm able to do gyms all over the world. But uh, if I was in UK, with that thing, I, I, all I need to do is go. I want a job at a gym and then I'd be able to work at a gym if they had a slot open. But here, I had to get an Australian fitness thing, which cost me another $220 to do and takes, uh, you know, 12 to 14 working days to get. So that's like three weeks waiting for a damn card. But after all that, after I went and applied for it, it said you need to do your CPR course and your first uh, work, first aid at work, which I probably would have had to do back in UK anyway. So I thought, more hassle. Went on, cost about hundred fifty dollars to get the courses. Went next day, passed them, and it was like, yeah, went back on the site, reapplied for it, and then I was like, yeah. Then they sent me an email saying uh, I had to send a photo of my call, so I had to send a photo of the CPR first aid and my and my uh, PT diploma. So I sent it over to the the, the like took photos and sent it in an email, yeah, and it was clearly sent because it was in the sent box and I got no notification saying uh, blah 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 I didn't send. Um, so I waited like five days and then I was like, uh, yeah, I, was, I thought I'm gonna I'm just gonna ring them up for the hell of it. I saw I ring rang them up and they said. Oh, nothing's happening yet because I'm waiting on my uh, calls to show on, on the pictures. And I was like, I sent, I sent you an email like five days ago with it. And they're saying, oh, we've not received it. I was like, I said, give me your email. I'll send them again to your email. So I sent them straight away. And I was like, yeah, they rang them up saying, have you got them? They said, yes. Then they sent the email back uh, with all the, yeah, all the run out dates or everything. Here's a little cat. Hey, he's oh, it's she. She's called Riley. Little ragdoll. That's all she does. Is lie on my bed. It's awesome. But yeah, um, I got the yeah. So I got the dates of the run out dates, or whatever of, of everything. 
and everything's confirmed. But now, now I've got to wait them twelve days. So even though I already waited five days, it's just been now starting. I mean, it's the sixteenth here. I arrived the second of May, and it's been a very just wait, 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 wait. So I'm doing so obviously. That's why I'm just playing a lot of Elder Scrolls because that's all I can do. Thank God, I brought over twenty thousand dollars. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. I've already spent four and a half grand. Yeah, a grand on rent um, for the month. Uh, four hundred on my phone. Three hundred on the bike. Hundred on this desk. Uh, obviously, buying food. What else have I bought? I paid one hundred and fifty to that stalker guy when I stayed there for a couple of days. Um, just loads of shit. Oh, hundred for the gym membership. Um, yeah, so just loads, but it's all equated to four and a half grand already, uh, or dollars wise. I'm like, shit, I've only been here two weeks. That's ridiculous, yeah. So if you're applying to do this, you need to bring over a lot of money because things will stop you doing what you want to do. It'll be a huge delays and things, and it's been a nightmare. I mean, even though I applied for loads of gyms before I even come out here, all they kept saying was, come see us when you're over here. No one said anything about that at Fitness Australia. Um, so it's really delayed my plans because because yeah I'm so used to getting the I'm just eating chicken and rice um, I'm so used to getting you know your pay all the time in the army no matter what you're doing I could do fuck all and I'd get the exact same pay if I was working my hardest ever I ate two sex ow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's the work it's been much hassle so far um, I'll tell you other things that's happened in the week for general interest. Uh, today I've got my PC. I got all my PC set up. Uh, I don't know if I can move the camera. Uh, let me see how far the car goes. If you can see, um, obviously, got all my high speed gamepad, got my monitor, I've got the other monitor, and I've got my SLI GTX 780 tower, uh, which is an absolute monster. And of course, cool headset. Let's uh, get that back on there. It's so hard to reach. There you go, because I can't be bothered to move. Uh, other things. Um, yeah, I'm looking at other places to stay. Because you can see Maylands. Like, Maylands is quite far away from the beach area. So I'm, I'm going to look for a place around Cotslow area. Because look how close Cotslow is to the beach. Yeah? <laughs> I've not even seen the beach or anything since I've been here so wow that's mega close uh, at the moment I I feel like I'm in some ra like a random suburb sort of cut out so I think it'd be so cool once I'm here uh, yeah I've, I met up some my her some Herbalife people out here got my Herbalife stuff as well uh, what else has happened this week it's, that's, it's just mainly the mess around I've been trying to train well I've been you know really trying to get back into it so I can get yeah because i'm still very ripped and stuff but you can't probably can't see it on the on the camera but i'm trying my hardest to keep on it and and do as much gaming as i can and go to the gym for an hour and trying to establish a new sort of routine whilst i'm here but that's it so far that's uh week two here it's nothing like i imagined uh but it's just been a lot of hassle just trying to re-establish life um, really really hard work I'll be, I'll be so happy once I start working at the moment it just feels you know, I'm on like a time limit till I run out of money and once I run out of money I can live on the street in a box and that's <laughs> but anyway that's it, look forward to week 3 of my uh, vlog let's see if there's any good news All right, and don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you all on the next one, bye bye